Hey y'all, uh, I got a uh, Silver Fire Scout in the mail and I'm fixing to take it out of its box and uh, let's have a look at it. It comes in a little uh, pouch but uh, I'm not using a pouch right now. This is uh, stainless steel. Last a lifetime. Here's the base. And uh, I heard someone say that they were concerned about the edges being sharp, but uh, mine aren't sharp, not a bit. This sets up real easy, real easy. And uh, there you go. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, I got the sun in my face. I'm having a hard time seeing if I got this in a camera or not. I think I do. Let's give you a close-up of that. Handy little thing. And the uh, burn chamber is actually larger than what it looks like in the picture. Now this is a TLUD uh, top-loaded updraft wood gasifier. And you know how much I love wood, wood gasification stoves. Uh, I've made a bunch, but uh, none of the ones I've made can come close to the quality that this is. You know, I've made them out of tin cans and stuff. Well, uh, I'm going to load this up. And I'm just going to make a pot of coffee right now. And uh, about lunchtime, I'm going to come back and make some sausage jambalaya. So uh, I'm going to fill this up and get it lit. And leave it on camera here. Let's just see how long it takes. <clears throat> Alright, this is just some uh, sticks that I've picked up in my yard. Oh, and uh, I'm using this fire patty that JNL Zero has done some experimentation with. And uh, I was so impressed with his experimentation that I just had to buy some. A little windy out here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah, I'm liking it. Yeah, lift right up. I'm gonna just use another little piece here. And, uh, my dogs are just going nuts. I have one crazy dog here that just thinks it's gonna catch a bird. Yes, sir. That's going to light up real... I'm not going to make you wait through the whole lighting process, but as soon as it gets going, uh, I'll show you what it looks like here and uh, put my coffee pot on. All right, it's going good enough for me to uh, set my coffee pot on there. It's only been about a minute and a half since I shut it off. And uh, we'll let that bubble. I know I keep getting in front of the camera here. All right. It's uh, 1053. I'll bring you back when we got percolation here. Oh yeah, we've been percolating for about two minutes now. I'm gonna give it about another two or three minutes, but I wanted to show you how wood gas works. I should have showed you this before I put this all together. I don't guess you can see in there. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to show you when I get this coffee pot off of here. What a cool little stove. It's a, a whole lot of BTUs for something that small. It uh, got this percolating really fast and uh, I've got two and a half cups this size of water in there. I'm going to give this about two more minutes of percolating and uh, we'll pour us a cup. And I'll show you how the wood gas actually works. Uh, it's a secondary burn. If you've seen any of the wood gas stoves I've made or other wood gas stoves that people have made out of, you know, coffee cans and stuff like that, it, uh, it re-burns the gases that uh, are contained in the smoke. 
Boy, that thing's really percolating. I can't wait to cook on this. All right, I'll give it a couple minutes and uh, pour some coffee. All right, we've been percolating for a little while here. So, uh, oh, let's pour us some coffee. Well, before I do that, let me point this out now that it's really gasifying. Uh, this here is the base, and the air comes in these little holes here, rises up, it feeds the inner chamber, the inner burn chamber, in there, and there's a gap between the inner chamber and this outer chamber. The air comes up in that chamber, in the gap, comes in these holes here, mixes with the gas, and reignites for a perfect clean burn. That's why there's no smoke here. I absolutely love the way these gasifiers work. And this is a handy, handy little, very compact wood gasifier. Let's pour some coffee. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna drink my coffee. And I'll see you in about three hours. We're gonna have some uh, sausage jambalaya. Can you wait that long? We'll be back. Breezy boy. What a happy little life you got, huh? Can you think of anything better than having a sun on you? I can. Oh, that is some good coffee. Good coffee. I just don't know if I would want to live in a world with no coffee and no dogs. Alright, a couple more hours, we'll be eating some jambalaya. Alright, welcome back for lunch. This is what I'm going to be using, Tony Chacherie's jambalaya dinner mix. I'm not going to be using all of it because it's a pretty big package. Uh, probably uh, a third of it. Probably about that much. But first, first I'm going to start, uh, I'm just going to brown my sausage up. I've got a little bit of sausage here, about a third of a link. I'll let this uh, get cooking a little bit and uh, show you the next step. All right, they're, uh, they're getting brown. So uh, I'm gonna use about three quarters of a cup of the Zatarains. And that's not Zatarains, that's uh, Tony Chachery's. Zatarains is good too. And about a whole cup of water. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. I'm gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, I gotta go work on my chicken house a little bit, clean out uh, the, the laying boxes and uh, we'll be back. Yes, I'm gonna wash my hands. Well, it's starting to look real good, real good. Probably uh, another, oh, another 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 more minutes. All right, I do believe that's gonna be it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, still cooking. Still got some, still got some coals in there. Yeah, that looks real good. 
I'll tell you what. This is about 60 bucks. And it's worth every penny. When I was making mine and trying to sell them, I was asking 65 and they weren't near as nice as this. And this is refractory grade stainless steel. I couldn't get that. Not for uh, not for the money I was able to spend. It's a good quality piece of equipment for your bug out bag, your get home bag. And that's where this is going. It's going in my... Uh, I call it a get home bag, but I carry it with me all the time. It's... Uh, got the essentials that you would need to get somewhere or get home handy little stove it's about two pounds about 60 bucks and uh, well worth it well built thanks for watching